Okay, so before we get into the weird type of commentary that might do that, might not even, you know, sound all special or anything, little side note, um, there is a few things I would like to say about the uh, next 1v1s you might be seeing, or the 1v1s in general. Uh, A, the 1v1s that you would be seeing are, or, well, actually, I don't think I need to say 1, 2, 3, whatever. Okay, so the 1v1s you might be seeing are either A, they've been pre-recorded beforehand before the 1v1 requests were officially closed, or B, um, are being recorded after the requests are closed. Because I know there's a handful of people in the comment section in my 1v1 videos who are all like, Hey, Jared, uh, can, can I please 1v1 you, you know, blah, 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 etc, etc, etc. And, but then, you know... The 1v1s are requests are closed, so I won't be doing any. I won't be accepting any more requests. But I still have to get some 1v1s done because, it, well, you know, <clears throat> there's a lot of requests I still have to do, and that aren't completely done. So, like this one, for example, this one was requested a while ago, and now I'm get now I'm trying to get it done. Hold up. Thankfully, I got my look. Oh, okay, that killed me. Okay, then. Huh. Interesting. I'm gonna have to approach at a new angle, then. Huh. Is she gonna take over my zone? Yeah, she's. Okay, hold up. Hold up, mate. Hold up. So, again. Every 1v1 that you will be seeing is either A, pre-recorded, or B, ha is being recorded after the requests have officially closed. Otherwise, just uh, sit back and enjoy the 1v1s, and if you didn't request, you're- Okay, wow. This is bad. For me, at least. Because, like, outranged. I haven't done 1v1s in a while, so this is uh, going to be interesting, I think. I just need to figure out how to approach. I don't know if I can do that. Because she got ballpoint. And ballpoint is really ridiculous. Because it's got good mobility. Or should I say great mobility for a splatling with no run speed up. Or I don't. Sometimes I even wonder if, a, if that thing even needs run speed sometimes. Like that thing just. It just moves fast for a splatling. I mean, mini splatling, you know, understandable. Because it's. it's a mini it's light obviously but like it's like the ballpoint has a massive range sometimes I wonder if you even I'm going to lose I'm actually going to lose to a ballpoint on a turf four. Oh my goodness how am I I haven't even got her once hold up eh. wow wow I can't believe I actually lost that all right then Wow. Huh. Okay then. Okay. Oh, I'm, I said it once, but I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna base your gender off of your uh, ink sona that you're using. So if I call you a she, and you're actually a he in real life, then my apologies, but at the same time, it could just be the fact that you're using a you know, an Inksona, that's actually a girl. So, if I call you a girl, but you're actually a dude in real life, then don't get mad. But you're the one using a girl Inkling, or a girl Aquiling, or whatever you want to, or whatever it is. Yeah, it's, it has to be one of the two, either girl Aquiling, or Inkling, or girl Inkling. Oh my goodness. I'm getting a lot of things backwards, am I? Or maybe I'm just crazy. Or maybe I think I'm funny. Okay. Now, moving that turf war off aside, let's actually get the. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, hold up. I'm, I actually feel positive I could have just ran up that, but I was like, huh. I don't know, fam. <laughs> I got nine, or I have nine remaining. I don't know if it's inches or feet. But I'm just pretend Actually, no, I'm gonna call them distance points. Distance points? I don't know, that doesn't roll off the tongue that well. Distant points. Distant points. 
I'm a, I'm, I'm gonna remember to call them distant points if I can. Distant points. That just chewed up the Rainmaker, ex the Rainmaker explosion. Okay, you know what? That's it. I think I'm gonna be using this for Rainmaker. I actually think I should be using this for Rainmaker. Cause like, that actually just ate up the Rainmaker shot. Legit. I mean, Toxic Mist ain't that great, but it kinda isn't- Well, it's not great, but it's usable. There's a difference between it being bad and it being usable. At least you can use this. I mean, okay, it's a 1v1 against someone. Obviously, that does that should not justify whether if I should just use it in a ranked battle, because that just changes a lot of things, especially uh, in, you know, computer display. But, um, I don't know. Well, maybe. Maybe I can give it a try. Maybe. 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 Okay. Um, I'm going to assume she's going to be using the ballpoint, because... You know, she used them for Turf War and Rainmaker, so I'm going to assume... Oh no, she's using Splash, okay. I mean, I don't know if that's going to make a difference. With, uh, you know, this weapon in particular. Actually, Ballpoint and Splash have the same kit. Hold up. Huh? That's funny. But, um... What was I going to say? Um, I'm just going to use this. Because this is basically just protection. It's finest. There we go. You just, I just need a lot of Ink Saver Main, and then, you know, I got it covered down. I, I have, like, 16 points of Ink Saver Main, which I'm pretty sure does enough. Like, I don't know if I necessarily need a pure to, you know, be able to do, you know, a lot with Umbrella, Ink Saving-wise. I also got, like, um... I only got, like one main of uh, uh, sub saver mostly because um i'm every time i have like a, a straight up pure of sub saver i keep thinking that i should just throw double auto bombs and then when i do um i run out of ink oh no that's not why it's because then i don't have enough room for ink saver main that's why so i'm using a main not for the auto bombs but for the weapon itself, because it because holding up the cannon bead or the shield drains the the ink tank a lot. It's kind of ridiculous. But that's basically my reason. I mean, I don't know if that made any sense to you guys, but basically, ink saver main is the strong. It's the thing that you really need with this weapon, because this thing is really hungry on ink. But other than that, you should be good. I mean, I did good here. Alrighty, Camp Triggerfish Tower Control. I was like contemplating on what I, I, I honestly wasn't for sure what weapon I was gonna pick, but then I was like, oh, you know what? It's one of those things where it benefits, it benefits long range weapons. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm gonna use a long range weapon. And yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna shoot you. Right here. I'll throw this at you. Haha, -ha, now your point sense E. Now you can do nothing but run. Because then I'll know where you're at. However, you got 10 missiles. Hopefully, I can dodge them by doing absolutely nothing. Oh, and my answer is correct. I'm gonna shoot you now. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Just It was just like freaking out casually. And then now I'm just like, alright, now I'm gonna shoot you. I'm not even sure what that was. I don't want to linger on it too long because then it'll just sound stupid at that point. Uh, I'm gonna do this. You're right there. Let's see. I'm gonna toss it right here. It's like you can't do anything, and I'm gonna outrange you. Or you can get me. Uh, okay. Well, that ain't good for my case, but you know what? Who cares, right? Who cares? Let me just ink up this area. Paint. Point. She's so easy. Okay. One benefit. Oh, oh, wait. Actually, she's not on the tower. Hold up. Oh, oh. I was about to say one thing that benefits using a weapon with point sensor is that you just throw it on the tower and then boom. They have been point censored. 
So, um, yeah. I need. I wonder what would happen if I try to use the Splatter Shot Pro more often on Tower Control, like the one with point sensors and Ink Storm, not the you know, the most used one, which is Ken's Splatter Shot Pro. That actually tore apart my shield. Hold up. I what? Oh, um, okay then. And that was like only two missiles. I'm pretty sure that was only two. You know what? What? Okay, okay. Now here's the question: What's the point of even having a booyah bomb super armor if the super armor just breaks so fast? Like I like it. Like it used to have been a thing where the booyah bomb was barely usable, but it had like a massive ton of armor. And then now, after that booyah bomb buff, where it's like you can, where it's just overall faster and more efficient. It's like after that, they just destroyed the shield. Like they nerfed the overall shield by six percent in a uh, in a previous patch, and then they just decided to indirectly nerf it by making several weapons just destroy it, like the Splatter Shot Junior, the 52 Splatter Shot mid-range weapons and midliner weapons like things like that like i don't know why they just had to do it they just had to do it oh my goodness i almost died if it wasn't for that partial charge shot <laughs> but seriously though I, I don't i i mean i know the booyah bomb is just overall really strong but i feel like the only reason why that is is because of the kensa splatter shot pro like heavy smiling remix is good but you know Kensa 52 and uh, Dynamo are not that great. In fact, I think their hugest benefits is because they have Booyah Bomb. And now they're just trying to take that away from them by just nerfing Booyah Bomb to heck. I mean, again, understandably, I I understand that they're doing it to nerf the Kansas Bioshock Pro and kind of the Heavy Spotling. But still, don't forget that you're... Nintendo, don't forget that you're also nerfing... Um... They, that you're also nerfing weapons that benefit Booyah Bomb. Dynamo, 52. Air oh yeah, also Aerospray. I mean, kind of not Aerospray because that's kind of a weird weapon with Booyah Bomb, but... I mean, honestly, I think that's the best Aerospray. It's because it has Burst Bomb. So that way, you can get in that one Burst Bomb and then, like, kill your opponent in, like, instead of five hits, four to three hits instead. And, um, dang, what was I going to say? Well, I mean, overall, I think it's Nintendo's, well, let, let's just face the facts. It's Nintendo's fault for thinking that it was okay to bring back damage up. Like, okay, I actually thought I was going to avoid that. <laughs> Ow, okay, I scratched the wrong part of my, ch of my chin again. Ow. Ah, okay, but still, out of, that out of the way. Actually, okay, hold up. Let me just real quick get me back this lead. Or... I outrange you. Don't stand in front of the tower. And yeah. That's my game. Hoo 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 hoo. Hoo 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 hoo. Look at, look at that boy. Look at this boy. Look at him. Look at this Terminator boy. We both got five spots? Okay. Except you used more specials than I. Okay, anyways, going back to what I was talking about, it's Nintendo's fault for thinking it was a good idea to bring back damage up. I mean, okay, there are some people who say that, like, uh, it's main power-up that's a bad idea. I think main power-up, in a way, is a really awesome idea, and that it should be looked on, and that it honestly is really cool. I think it's the fact that some main power-up benefits increase its damage. I think that is a bad idea. Not... It, okay. And I know what you guys are probably going to say. Well, Jared, if it's if it's so bad in Splatoon 2, why isn't it so, you know, overpowered and amazing in Splatoon 1? Because there is also defense up. And defense up does not exist in this game. Just like how Echolocator doesn't exist to counter, you know, Ninja Squid users. So, that's why damage up is so strong. So, two shots are really possible with the, with the Splatter Shot Pro in particular. 
okay, but here's the thing that I think that Nintendo should have done. They should have either A, um, not have done damage up at all and just, you know, get rid of the idea, or not have done the idea of damage up, or B, um, introduce defense up in the future, or, you no, know, that's what they should have done, they should have, they should have introduced defense up, or better yet, they should have turned bomb defense up into just overall defense up, that's what they should have done, so that way, um, that actually made it, okay then, so that way, that, um, defense up, like overall defense up actually has some use, and it also, and they should also make sure that it still has its cold blood effects, because that would benefit it a lot. I, if they did, oh my gosh, if they really did, then that would have made the, you know, the overall thing way more usable. That's what it would have happened. It would have just made it overall more usable. And people would have said, oh, hey, you want to counter damage up? Just, you know, wear defense up. Boom, easy clap. Oh my goodness, Kelp, you really got mean to say that. <laughs> but still, facts, but still, it's it's true. If they made it to where defense up was like, you know, bomb defense up and actual defense up and cold blooded, that would have worked. It would have been useful. And that and maybe like not make it as efficient as it used to have been in Splatoon 1, maybe. But, you know, at least put it in the game to get rid of two-shot potentials. And also get rid of the potential facts that, you know, Splatter Shot can get three shots. And maybe it could be a thing where it now just gets four shots. And then, you know, er and then, you know it just goes on with the list. And that weapons like the 96. Weapons like the 96. That benefit a lot from the fact that, you know, not only can it paint really well, but it's also really strong. So, weapons like that could actually be better. Oh my goodness, Nintendo. Things that you could have done to just keep people from complaining about Splattershot Pro giving too much damage. Like, again, if it was a thing, then the Splattershot Pro being able to do 49.9 damage with only 3 mains and 1 sub of main power-up, or 31 points, or 32 points, or whatever, would not have been a problem because there's defense up. But no, they did not introduce defense up. That was their main problem. They just did not introduce defense up. And, you know, Spire Shot Pro with its three mains at one sub of main power would not have been a problem at all. And that it would have... It would have still been... Um, I was going to say, uh... Oh, hey. And that it would have still been... You know, not as broken, but just, you know, usable. Actually, wait. Didn't it, wasn't it like something like 30. Wasn't it like 31 points of main power up that you needed to have? Maybe 32? So only two mains and four subs is all you need back then before they buffed Booyah Bomb. Alright, well, that's what I think they should have done. Otherwise, that's a GG. But yeah, if they they could have kept the 3.1 or the uh, 31 points of, you know, uh, damage up f for the Splatter Shot Pro and just introduce main uh, defense up and then boom. No problems. No problems. See, Nintendo, the things that you could have done, the things that you could have done. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, we're, I'm not saying that this game is bad. Obviously, I'm just saying that there are things that you could have done to make certain weapons, you know, or to make things less broken. Like again, defense up. Why didn't you introduce defense up? Okay, again, either they a just not have, you know, um, they could have either not have, you know, damage up, or they could have introduced defense up. Because that would have been amazing. And they should have 
And if they didn't do damage up, then they should have just have a Spiral Shell Pro have like extra range. But not like the thing where it's like with the Jet Squelcher where it only gets extra range by like 8%, which is completely useless. They should have just done it to where... Actually, they should have done it to where both the Jet Squelcher and the Spiral Shell Pro had like extra range by like, I don't know, 12, 15%. At maximum because I think it's ridiculous how like you need a lot of main power up to like not even have a noticeable difference heck, heck the E leader literally gets 5% extra range with max main power up and I think that's ridiculous and does not help the weapon at all many oh my gosh the many many things they could have done to just you know, if they even have the Spire Shot Pro to do better painting or better, or, you know, no fall-off damage, there's just so many things they could have avoided this, but they just didn't do. And it honestly triggers me. <sighs> so many things, Nintendo. So many things you could have done to make certain weapons better, but not broken. I'm, I need it. One day, I'm going to make a whole venting video about what they could have done better. Ah, jeez Louise. No, you know what? I am going to do that. I'm going to make a venting video about what what's the problem with main power-up. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. One day.